What is up, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Sonic Ranger. Welcome! So, yeah, this is the game. I was saying before that there was a game that's kind of like small, and it was a game I really wanted to play. Well, this is it. Welcome to Heartbeat. It is a great game to me. I love this game. It was a lot of fun. I have played it through before, and I feel kind of bad because I'm like, oh man. I played this all the way through, so I'm not going to be able to get, like, real reactions. But it was a while ago, and I'm the kind of person who just enjoys things more than one time. So you don't have to worry about that. So we're going to go straight into a new game. And doesn't this just feel like old school Pokemon right here? This is a really charming game. I really enjoy it. So I believe this is the one I liked originally. I'm going to go with that one. Do you want text sounds? Keep them on! A difficulty mode and you guys know me you know i like to relax and enjoy a good game so i'm not even gonna waste time pretending i'm doing it the easy mode all right are you sure absolutely in this world roam humans and mogwai both born of the stars one born from the one born from the stars one born from the earth sorry i'm already messing this up two forces fought to stake claim of the land until the human ambassador stepped forth the Mogwai, moved by kindness, agreed to compromise with the humans. Since then, Mogwai sought for distinct humans akin to the old ambassador to become conjurers. The, a conjurer and their Mogwai partner. Can this camaraderie withstand the test of time? Eve? Eve? Are you alright? Yes, I'm giving voices and accents, so get used to it. Um... Just get ready for it. I'm doing it all through exactly the way I played it originally. And I like accents and fun stuff like that. This is way too much inventory. My arms are super numb. I'm going to give her a little bit of a voice too. I offered to help, you know. Aw, Klein, you don't have to. I can't rely on you for everything. And yet, here we are. Besides, you're so tiny. These boxes would straight up smush you. Hmm, is that what you think? Just saying. Ahem. Come now. Let us focus on more important matters. Your grandfather wrote up a shopping list. This is so cute. This is so cute. I love this game so much. Here you go. Care not to wrinkle it. Got a shopping list from Klein. Right. The shelving repairs, huh? That's not so bad. We can get all that stuff down south at Solberg. You'll have to excuse me. This text is always super hard for me to read. Even after all the Pokemon games. Yes, right past Corona Woods. Hmm, I wonder if it's safe today. I just hope you haven't forgotten your combat training. It's only a short walk down, but we should be wary all the same. Aw, you worry too much, Klein. Sorry, you know how ferals can get. Especially up here in the mountains. It's okay. It should be no problem with the both of us together. All right, let us make haste then. Klein, join the party! Ugh, there are so many characters. I'm just so excited to see them again. I miss them so much. Wow, you got that all that junk cleared so fast. You're really something, Klein. Ugh, you're quite well, Vermeeth. Don't know why I even offered my room up as the store storage closet. Oh well. You can't remedy clutter with more clutter. Oh, I guess it doesn't matter now. What was that? Doesn't matter. Meow. I said now. Humbuggy, we have no time for such foolishness. We must do this quick. We wouldn't want to get caught in the woods for too long. I suggest wearing a coat. It's brisk out. I've already gone ahead and prepared one, of, one for you by the shirt rack. If you get confused or lost, press chatter on the menu to talk to me. I miss all their lingo. I missed this. It's been too long, I swear. This is like one of the best games I've played in a long time. And you just don't understand because you you just have to stick with me through the series, okay? Trust me, it's a really good story. Thanks, Klein. I'd be lost without you. Worry not. It is my duty to serve, after all. Oop. That phone. I swear, I did not understand the phone most of the game. So don't be surprised if I don't go checking it very much. Because it's really just extra stuff. It's not necessarily useful for anything. It's actually just the sign that it's saved. And you get a little text every time there's a save point, basically. It's your autosave. Sort of. Uh, 
downside is I f completely forgot about that originally when I was playing it, and I didn't figure out until most of the way into the game, so again, you won't see me go into it very much. Wait, hold on. A text? Looks like it's a countrywide alert. Don't get distracted now. You can check that mail through the menu later. Alright, alright. Quit tugging at my shirt. Those claws are crazy sharp, you know. <clears throat> Sorry, doing her voice is already like... There's Pokemon up there. You know it's Pokemon. Don't you deny me. Don't deny me that. Ah, oh, shoot. I gotta remember how to use these keys. Okay. I was using my mouse. I need to not use my mouse. I need to use my space bar. I gotta get used to using just the keyboard. Yes! We're good to go! Did you bring your staff as well? You won't be able to fend off Feral Mogwai without it. I, uh, I have it right here. Yep. Keep it safe. You know it belonged to your great-grandmother. <laughs> It'd be hard to lose this thing. It's pretty huge, Quine. Right, right. I suppose it is. Well, don't forget to tell your grandfather goodbye. It's only polite. I know I missed her name. You're just you're just gonna have to get used to my bad reading. Oh, I almost forgot. If you want me to le lead, just press Q. Yeah, cause we who wouldn't want that cute little kitty just leading the way? I'll keep that in mind. As you can see, there is a value to it. So with Klein Gremory, that is her name. Partner skill is size matters. Klein's small size allows her to fit into tight spaces. Press Z and interact with cat flaps to enter new areas. You're going to find a lot of Mogwai with different abilities and there's only certain times you can use them because obviously they're not with you all the time. It's great. I love this game. But I was just looking at the fact that those are, those are Pokemon up there. If you don't know which Pokemon, then I feel sorry for you. I'm not even going to explain it to you. You know if you know. Also, little robot people. This is a very interesting world. Just the whole style of it. Is there's little robot assistants everywhere. There's Mogwai, which are like little magical animal creatures. There's a whole lot of lore. I'm so excited for you guys to see it. Okay, let's just get right in. Let's go. Good. Hey, Gramps. We're leaving. We'll try to be back before sundown. Finally awake, huh? Alright, you have the item list with you? Yep, all accounted for. Is it really alright to have you going off on your own? Oh, I forgot which voice I gave him. Well, this can be real dangerous for a child like you, Eve. Ahem, Eve is 22, with a job. Yeah. Yeah. Welcome to my life. I'm, like, gonna be 28 and people still think I'm 16. Hey! And, yes. <laughs> All right, right, right. My grandkids growing up so fast. Well, if you're heading out now, here. Take some of these. Got sweet loot from Grandpa. All right. Wow, thanks, Grams. Fresh cupcakes this time. That's free for now. But don't think you're... I'm gonna... Mm. But don't think I'm going easy on you just because you're my grandkid. Hey, there's nothing wrong with getting grandkid perks. When your work ethic gets better, maybe then. Make sure you take care of her, Klein. Of course. It's my sworn duty to keep Eve safe. Gosh, I love Klein. I ah, I'm already getting feels for later. I need to quit fangirling so much. Okay. I need to just enjoy the moment. We're going to enjoy each little step together. Right now, we're just getting over the fact that this is just so dang cute. Also, this is an RPG, so there are going to be lots of fights. I'm personally making the decision of not including all the whole fights. Most likely, I'm going to be pausing in between fights. You'll see the fight open, and then you'll see it close. So, you know, if you just want... I feel like that's not necessary for you guys to watch the fights, because it's going to be really repetitive after a while. Now, there will be, like, uh, abilities and such I'll unlock, and I guess I'll decide later if I really want to hold out, like, letting you guys see those as much. Because, again, it's an RPG, and frankly, the new abilities are only really useful if you're, like, playing it. So for me, as a player, it's interesting to have and see, but as someone who's just watching someone else play it, I feel like that's not going to be very fun. And it's just going to make this go on a lot longer than it really needs to. So honestly, if you want to enjoy like the fights and the stuff and getting into all that, I recommend you playing it. Just just go ahead and go buy it. It's not even expensive. Just go buy the game and you can play it 
and you can follow along with me. Like, we'll, like, play it together. That will be really cool. Okay. <clears throat> you better. I promised her mother I'd keep her out of trouble in harm's way. But, as always, that's proven to be quite the challenge, eh? We'll be okay this time, I promise. Now let's get out of here, Klein. Stay safe, you hear? No more petting strange dogs. I mean that. Yeah, you're a cat person, obviously. You don't pet the doggies. I keep wanting to press my, uh, wasad, or however people pronounce it, the A-S-W-D. Because I just have my fingers there from, like, Minecraft and such. So yes, look at our little world. Look at our little sprightly world. Little peoples everywhere. Oh my gosh, Klein, can I pet you? Please, please, please. <laughs> She's purring. She's so cute. Hi, Eve. Are you and Klein going on an adventure today? I can never go down into the forest myself without my dad with me. So there's a thing. Here's something funny. Okay, let me go through it first. Examine is a strange voice seeps through the phone. Your days are numbered, girl. Keep your pockets empty when we meet. You hang up. So that's a weird little thing. Like, they added a lot of heart to this game. So every time you see a phone booth, just click it. Something, huh? There's a little, little, little uh, treats to find when you open them. Now, I'm not going to waste too much time with exploration. Again, this is really a game you want to play for yourself. Because there's a lot of little things everywhere. Little characters, little, you know, just fun things that happen. Beep boop. I used to be much slower, and then I found the always dash option. I was tired of pressing shift to run. I don't know why I gave him a weird Mickey voice, but I did. And again, everything kind of has a purpose. Like, that, that'll make sense later. Not even long later. Like, that, that's going to be soon. Don't worry. How bold of you to say. Yes, yes, Klein speaks to the animals. Which is why I'm going to show you this one. Like, this isn't necessary, but I'm going to show you anyway. So Q lets you choose who's going to be at the front. Look at it. She just goes and talks to everybody. I hadn't realized you were busy today, Miss Meowses. Carry on with your meeting. Meeting all the dogs in town. But yeah, so little details like this. Just random stuff. It's very fun to me. I, I love it. It just gives it a sense of, like, heart. That's really special, and I appreciate it a game. But again, as much as I would love to show you all those things, I'm not going to do that, because it's really not necessary to the story. And when it is, I'll, I'll let you know. But it's really just for the sake of enjoying yourself while you play it. And I want to leave that for you guys to go ahead and enjoy when you go play it. Because I really do recommend playing it. There's a lot of little things I'm not going to show that I think you guys will really enjoy. Huh? Is that a feral mogwai? What's it doing so close to Sunwich? Does it want something? Eve, watch out! Hey! You took our stuff! The cupcakes... We can't let this thief go. Come, Eve, we must teach it a lesson. Okay. <laughs> Stole our cupcakes. I know it's been a while since our last battle. Look at that face. I love Klein. So let's brush up on things again, shall we? Pulse refers to your will to power to fight. Without a pulse, you can't keep fighting. So it's your health, basically. Your pulse is deciding of your, uh, your, you know, health. Beat is the magic flowing through you. So beat is your magical ability. Without a beat, there is no magic. So we have our health, which is pulse, and our magic, which is beat. It, the first time I tried playing this game, keep in mind, this thing froze when I first played it. It made me so sad. That's why it took so long before I played it again. Like I bought it, I think I bought it shortly after it came out because it just looked so neat. And it was one of those new games. They were like, hey, come play this new game. And it froze. I think it did get updated a few times between then and when I finally played it. And I'm like, oh, I'm going to try again. And it worked. So actually, let's see if I get through this fight. Otherwise, I'm going to feel like I'm freezing again. Just watch. It'll be my luck. And most importantly, there is heart. Heart is con unique to conjurers like you. As a conjurer, you can read a Mogwai's heart with ease. Casting heart will require this specific skill. Heart is packed magic. It is our resolve as partners. 
Now then, let us begin. First, just guard. So we're gonna fight. I'm using my mouse again. I need to stop doing that. Guard. And guard. Aren't they so cute? See? Fighting defensively is still fighting. As long as we fight on, our hearts will flourish. Attacking, of course, has the same effect. Now, I will seal your defensive tactics. You will be left vulnerable, but trust me. Go ahead and attack with all your might. So fight, attack, and you attack that. Attack, and you attack. So that's another thing. It's hard. I was trying to figure out where it was. I couldn't remember. It's down here. So you notice how it goes up. So the thing with heart is that it's basically your ultimate move. And it's, it'll make, I'm not going to explain all the details because it's going to change as the game goes on. But basically it's your ultimate move. So attack. Klein. And, ugh. Oh, that's another detail. I'll explain it later. I'll get, we will get into the details later. Right now we're just going to learn this game. Very good. Now, I'll unseal our magic. As a light mogwai, I specialize in healing. If you need my support, direct me to your aid. As a conjurer, it is your duty to lead us in battle. No matter what you choose, my heart beats with yours. So fight. So tempo is using an ability. And you can see there is uh, Starlight Rush. There's Settle Down. I know I said I was going to skip the uh, fighting, but I'm going to show you guys these ones. Um, and I'll explain a little more later on. We have Starlight Rush, Meteor Rush... Settle down, star her, pile driver, galaxy spin. You'll notice this one's blanked out, but that 100 there in gold is for your heart. That's, that's the special ability. It hits all enemies, and it's a physical attack. This one is one enemy, it's a magic attack, and it has a chance of stunning. One enemy, it's a defensive, it's a defense rebuff and a magic defense rebuff, and it lasts for three turns. This hits one enemy, it's physical, stun chance. Galaxy Spin is all enemies, physical, and stun chance. So, you can see where that goes. And it requires so much magic to do. The blue is for your feet. Gold is for your heart. So, I'm going to have her do Galaxy Spin. And then, um, <laughs> you notice how it was Tempo for Eve. But for Klein, it's called Reflexes. So, these are her Reflexes, not necessarily her uh, tempo. So there's a lot of little names and little lingo that's in here that I really appreciate because they really got very creative about how they designed this game and the characters and everything behind it. Little things that you won't notice and I don't think I'm gonna give you guys as much a chance to notice it. If I skip the fights you won't get to see it but each and every character we meet throughout this game is going to show something different. Like this one was rev these are um reflexes there are other characters who have different names for it but it's based specifically on that character and yeah so you see with Klein we have a revive no knockouts for one ally three hits at random is physical by like feline rampage like wounds one ally is healed so this one revives them so if they're out they're out and this brings them back heal them when it's like an injury this is attack and magic attack debuff for three turns and then this scans all enemies. This allows you to know what kind of enemy you're up against. And it doesn't take any magic. So those are the little things you have to notice. That That's basically the the fight style. It Again, it's an RPG. This is basically like a, a really unique, fun Pokemon style setup. Um, and I appreciate it. So I'm just going to have her do Lick Wounds. Oh, hello. Huh? It transformed. This one's simply taunting us, Eve. She didn't need to do that. Loafing. Let's go back to heart magic. It is the key to unlocking your strongest spells. Yeah, I explained that already. Humans come in different magical flavors, but conjurers are the only humans who can sync heart with mogs. Now, I have an item with me that can heal heart. We will heal together as our hearts beat as one. Let's try this now. I'll seal everything but magic. Believe in yourself and follow your heart, Eve. So, she just made our heart go all the way up. And now we're going to do Meteor Rush. So, she doesn't have any right now. But yes, they you can have a Mogwai have a special ability, like a super ultimate attack too. 
It's just not here. And there's a such thing as multiple. So it's very fun. It's very fun. I'm going to do cat scan just for the sake of it. So just so you can kind of see how it works. So you can see it's max HP is 10, defense is... No, I mean 20. Defense is 10. And the magic defense is 13. Element is flora. Weakness is shadow. Resists nothing. Wonderful work, Eve. As expected of my conjurer. As you know, ferals can attack humans any time. Us mogwai are creatures of emotion, after all. Simple words and reason are ignored by angry mogwai, and thus, at times, using force is necessary. Mogwai do not stop fighting until one gives up. So that's kind of the lore behind the mogwai, is they are creatures of emotion. So emotion is extremely important to them. They are emotional creatures. That's very important to understand. Humans use their head. Mogwai use their heart. And that's why you kind of see so much reference to, like, heart and beat and pulse and tempo. It's because, as the conjurer, you kind of relate to Mogwai in that sense. Such a rush. I haven't thought in a long time. Are you alright, Eve? We should have done stretch exercises before proceeding. No, no, it's not that. I just feel kind of bad for it. Don't feel so glum. You know what that does to me. See? Emotional. They're like very, very sensitive creatures. And I love that about it because I'm like, I'd love to live in a world with Mogwai. Just creatures that live on emotion, they, they'd really relate. I think I'd make a great conjurer because that's exactly how I am. Besides, that was a feral Mogwai. Would you rather have it attack a village? I guess not. It's your duty as conjurer, after all. You must defend your town. That's true, but do... Sorry, my mouse was in the way. Do we really have to hurt him like that? Us Mogwai are hearty. It'll take more than a brief spa to hurt us. Think of those... Think of it like those human wrestling matches you fancy with the glowing box at home. On the glowing box at home. <laughs> You're right. Okay, okay, I'll keep my chin up. So you can see it's like... It is it is a fight, but they can take a lot more than, you know, it seems. So when they disappear, it's not because you actually did much damage. It's just because you finally calmed them down and they left. That's basically how that works. It's very cute, and I love it. Okay, so we have a lot of save files on here. I'm going to go down to 12, because that way I don't accidentally, like, do anything weird. Okay. So you can see the little cat one. Though the cat ones, the blue cat ones, those are the shy ones. So they'll basically try to avoid you, as you can see. It's avoiding coming close to us. And of course, there's our cute little chests. You can get fun stuff. I'm most likely going to try to grab them because they make the fights a lot easier sometimes. Chicken! The green ones are like random. They're just going to run in any direction. If they run into you, they run into you. Look! I'm just a normal chicken, I swear! Okay. So like the green ones, you could like stand here and they're just going to keep running around. They're not necessarily going to come towards you. They're not going to like escape from you. They're just there. And they could easily bump into you. Ah, here we go. Prepare to pay for your misdeeds, you nasty pharaohs. Oof. Oh, butternut squash. Darn things got away. <clears throat> Sorry. Whoa, that cluster looked way bigger than the usual ones. You okay, ma'am? Oh, when you see the little floating ball things, those are considered clusters. So it's not necessarily one enemy, it's like one or two or three, it's it's just a cluster. That's what they call them. So that white one is called the red-eyed cluster, and that'll make more sense as we go along. But that's kind of what each of these balls represent, is mogwai, uh, singular or plural. They're just the feral ones, they're the ones that are like, just living in nature. You know, usual thing. You okay, ma'am? Oh, I'm fine, dear. I'm guessing your son witch is Conjurer, right? Yep, that's me. How'd you know? Oh, wonderful. I just moved here. The name's Troy. Nice to meet ya. I'm sorry. My voice is doing a thing and I don't appreciate it. <clears throat> As a seasoned Conjurer myself, I can tell when someone's a Conjurer, too. <laughs> Besides, it was easy to tell with that cat Sith trotting next to ya. Klein Gremory, at your service. I'm Eve's partner in magic. Oh yeah, duh. It's about time Sunwitch got another conjurer. 
ever since the open passed on and all. She was a special conjurer, you know. Had three mugs and everything. Way more than a normal conjurer can handle. Boy, she was really something. Yeah, I'm nothing like her. You've got your own path, Eve. Don't sell yourself short now. Oh, I didn't mean it like that. That's a token of my apology. Here. Butchie. As a conjurer, you must know that it's our duty to protect all of Solemn's residents. Solemn is the name of the word world, so just that make that easy for you. Because some of these words are a little hard to keep track of from the beginning. I know I had a really hard time of it in the beginning when I was playing it, so... Yeah. Well, this little fella was the only one to hatch out of their egg clutch. See? <laughs> yeah. But I've already got my hands full taking care of both my mogs and my bad knees. <laughs> Just so you know, the one of her mogs is on her shoulder. Wait, I get to keep it? Of course. This one here, that's like her partner right there. This rascal's a special critter. Ancient combat conjurers used them all the time. Kabuchi! This one is a mere kitten. It can't even talk. What use is it to us? Cool, a pet for conjurers! Wh what? Don't you already have a pet back home, Eve? Yeah, but not here at Gramps's. Can we take it with us, Klein? Please? Fine, but it's your responsibility. Do you understand, Eve? I'll take it out on walks and clean it up after it and all that. I'm sure you'll get along. I had one when I was your age, too. So many fond memories. Butchie! Kumono! <laughs> He's so cute. I love him. <laughs> hmm, but what should I name him? I'm gonna give him the same name I gave him before, because that's just the way this works. I'm choosing Mao, because I love the name Mao. It's a great name. It's a very cute name. It's not... I don't think the meaning is cute. I think it's supposed to be like, uh... Uh, let me think. What does Mao mean? Give me a sec. I'm checking. I like knowing with these things. Names. Oh. So, Mao means true center. Oh. I guess it just means real and genuine. See? I knew I liked that name. Okay, how about Mao? Sounds good. Pumpukachi. All right, Mao it is then. Mind if I give you a little head pat? Yeah, Oj. Cute, yeah, but those feelers are super prickly, huh? Please be careful, Eve. Solemn's animals are no joke. Oh, Fooey, I'd say you should worry more about those red-eyed clusters than in this youngin. All right, the cluster from before. Yep, they were trying to eat Mao here just a little while ago. In that case, we should rid the grounds of aggressive entities like that. That's the spirit? When you're done showing that cluster who's boss, come talk to me. Don't worry, Mao. We'll beat that cluster up for you. Munyo? Chakapuchi? Chuku? Choi? Oh, she's, he said her name. I just realized that. Choi. Yeah. Couldn't leave without giving Zang a hug. Don't you worry. It'll be fine, Mao. <clears throat> Jeez, I still have, like, frogs in my throat from when I got, um, my sinuses messed with me. Weather going up and down is a hassle on me. For real. It gets me every time. Don't you worry. It'll be fine, Mao. Sweet. Bumbucci! Mao's got a bit of Zeng's fur on their face there. Didn't know you were so sticky, Mao. Bucci. Mao joined the party! Maybe? <laughs> It'll make more sense later. Okay, so now we gotta go find that red-eyed cluster and give it a good swappin'. Or whatever you call that. Good whap. So there's another house here, but I'm not going to go into it yet. We're going to focus. There it is. Be careful, Eve. That Mogwai cl cluster is really strong. I suggest finding them when you've grown stronger. Fortunately, this type of Mogwai cluster will disappear after you defeat it. Unlike regular clusters, they won't, don't ever come back. They also drop really good items, so we should find them in the future. So... Technically, we could probably go up and fight it right now, 
but I'm not going to worry about that. Because again, I don't want to focus too much on the fighting stuff. Those will be ha handy for me later. Just for me personally, because, you know, I have to do the fighting. And then there's this. As you can imagine, it's a, like a save spot, as well as a way to get your health back up. So you can rent a s sheep squatch sleeping sack. So then, you know, that's very handy to have, especially when you're like in a place where there's a lot of stronger monsters. Mogwai. I'm sorry. I meant to say Mogwai. Wah! Mogwai! What was that? We should look around the area. Someone might need our help. Jeez, I don't even remember the voice I gave her either. It's been too long. Okay, so you see the red one? Those are the aggressive ones. Those are the ones who will come after you. They will try to eat your butt. Love letter found. Hmm? Huh? When does get Gate get here? I don't remember this being here last time. Ah, oh, that this might be due to the reports on those red-eyed clusters. So what do we do now? We can't leave Gramps hanging. Worry not, there must be a switch somewhere. That little door that little door wasn't there before either. You know I can't fit through there. Unless you're making fun of me being short again. Not the intention this time. I'm saying press Q and switch to me so I can investigate. Right, right, sorry. Ah, uh, the pain that is being small people like me. So as you can see, you're going to end up in fights. See how he just came right at me? And we only have Klein to fight with now. So this is something that will happen now and again. But I'll let you see her fight just because we can. <laughs> and Klein's awesome. And you see a weakness. So, again, it's really good to know, like, the weaknesses of each one. Again, it's a lot like Pokemon. Like, it, it's very much like a Pokemon game. And I highly recommend it. And you'll have a lot of puzzles like this, too. Like, there's some actually, like, annoying puzzles sometimes. And you'll get to see it later. But, alright. So now that's cleared out. So we don't have to worry about the other aggressive Mogwai down there. And there's another person. I'm going to switch back to Eve. Because I will tell you now, there are some scenes that dialogue that is a little different depending on who you're playing as when you went up to it. So it does matter who you're playing as, like who's at the lead, when you go into certain dialogues. Like, for some of them, it actually matters, and that's really cool to me. <clears throat> Let's see if I can actually do this voice. Hold still, hold still. You don't want these photos coming out blurry, do you? Are you okay, miss? What's with all, what's with all the screen? Oh? Well, okay, hi. No way! A cat sip? There ain't Corona Woods now? This footage will be my vital for my upcoming web mog mogumentary. Now I can finally be net famous and get all the ac accolades. Is that how you pronounce that? Accolades? All of them. <laughs> Look straight into the camera now. I can't. Eve, please do something. Uh, sorry to tag in, but, but that mogwai is my partner. Partner? With a cat sip? How traditional. Back in the old days, they called them familiars, you know. Hmm, and this particular Mogwai follows the yin phase. Which means, this Mogwai's conjurer is a girl! W what the heck? I'm right here. Okay, so that's another thing you'll notice as the game goes on. There is specifically, like... I want to say... Hmm... The Mogwai are almost like... If you've watched Steven Universe, they remind me of the Crystal Gems. Or, like, gems in general. You know how in Steven Universe, if you watched it, you know that all the gems, like, recognize themselves as female. Or, how do you pronounce, how do you say that? Uh, they identify as female. Even though, technically, in like a real technical sense, they're neither gender, but they choose to be considered females. And that's why you kind of have a wide variety for them. It's not about their appearance. Their physical being, body doesn't even really exist. It's just, uh, image. Like a, a projection, even. It's the gems that matter. So the Mogwai are almost just like that. They're not necessarily male or female. They kind of identify as certain genders. And it doesn't really have anything to do with it. So that's something you can keep in mind as well. It was one of the things I really loved about it. Because I love that idea of just kind of being whoever you are. Without it seeming... what. 
I guess the word would be controversial. I guess that's the word I would use for it. it it's a creative liberty that I appreciate. What the heck? I'm right here. It's a Cathsit, so it's definitely a healer type Mogwai too. Look at her polite little pawsies, needing everyone back to perfect health. Oh, she's purring. Wait, don't touch my paws without asking. That's impolite, miss. Aw, you're like a prissy little kitty, aren't you? All right, all right, I'll stop. You see, I've always wanted a mog of my own, but the ones around here are always feral, and they don't want anything to do with humans. Practically untamable, but still cute enough to snap pics of. This girl wants to be a conjurer? How preposterous. Hmm? Is something wrong, Cat Sith? N nothing. And it's Klein, not Cat Sith. Aw, what a cute name! Did your conjurer give you that? It suits you. Of, no, of course not. He'd had no part in naming me. Humans do not name Mogwai. We're partners. It's not like I own Klein or anything like that. That'd be weird. So yeah, it is not an ownership. It is a partnership. The Mogwai who are sentient, the not feral ones, they are their own person. They name themselves all that. They have lives. It would be wrong. I see. Well then, Eve, Klein, as an apology, you should come visit me down in Solperk. You can help me revise research notes. All these years and I still get things wrong. Sorry if we came off a bit strong there, but yeah, I'm down for anything, sure. We don't have time to loiter. We promise to finish an errand quickly. When you're done with your little errand, you should drop by as research material. Huh? Alright, so we met someone new. We didn't get their name, but we met them. And there's a hiding treasure chest. Blinking for soup CD found. Yeah, yeah, that, that was the reference you think it is. And if you don't realize what the reference is, you're very young. You'll notice sometimes they're almost... Mm, seem like they're aiming for you. But again, it's really straight up random. Anyway, uh, we're going to Solberg. Not gonna do too much exploring. We wanna actually get where we're going. And we're gonna meet someone else. Now this one's a fun one. I like this one. Hold on. There's something weird about that Mogwai over there. Doesn't look like any of the Tanuki from earlier. Good eye, Eve. She is definitely a den Tanuki. Master pranksters and swindlers, all of them. Whoa, for real? I've never seen any Mogwai from the den before. Besides you, I mean. Um... I'm trying to think if this is really something I should explain now. Because I don't feel... That's the other thing with this game, is you really kind of just pick up on stuff as you go. And just in case I miss stuff, because I'm not going to waste too much time with side stuff, I might miss explaining some of the information. So basically, Den Mogwai are the sentient Mogwai, who are from the place where sentient Mogwai live. Like I said, it's a partnership, it's not an ownership. It's not like you find a feral Mogwai and you train them into a sentient one. They actually just are sentient for whatever reason. And they have their own little place where they live in. That's why in the beginning it was talking about how the humans and the Mogwai were kind of deciding who gets to run things. And it was because of the ambassador that humans have their part, the Mogwai have their own. And the Mogwai agreed to live in peace with the humans because of that ambassador. So there, there's a lot of lore and you kind of just pick up on it as you go. But I'm just going to make it a little easier for you guys so you can kind of follow along without being confused. And then you don't have to worry about forgetting any information as we go. Because that will happen. So saying it's a den tanuki means that it's not a feral mogwai, it's like an actual sentient mogwai. And there's something else really fun about sentient mogwai that you'll see later. I'll explain it later, so don't worry. That's because when a mogwai leaves the den, they can never go back. Oh, right. Was it a tough decision for you, Klein? To stay here, I mean? What? No, I chose to live here with your great-grandmother on my own accord. How sweet. You guys must have been real close, huh? Yes, that is how packs are made. Even you know that, Eve. Look, let, let's just hurry and talk to the particular... That... Pati bleh, peculiar Mogwai and continue on, alright? We have to make sure she's not causing trouble for passing humans. So you can see there's a little bit of a... See, the the save menu, basically. That was saving. Uh, which button? Eh. 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 Oh, there it is. Okay. So the escape button. 
I couldn't remember which button opens this up. But yeah, you can see the everything there. So. And then you can hit escape to leave. It's... The buttons are a little funky to me, but that's okay. I'm just not that good at games. Okay, so let's meet this Den Tanuki. Good morning, human. I having fun bullying my cousins on this beautiful day? Oh, what? Those are your cousins? Is this a boss fighter? <laughs> what? You're funny. Hey, remember what I told you about Tanuki and their pranks? Den Tanuki are no different. I don't want to assume that like that. I mean, she's not even feral. Oh, so you could tell. I mean, I already knew you could. I heard you two whispering up there. Y'all ain't very good whispers. But, yep, I'm not from around these parts. I came to sightsee. You know how it is, cuz. Outside, Ma. Outside, Magua. Mmm. I can read. Give me a moment. <clears throat> Outside, Ma. Outset, Mogs. With tons of cash they ain't using for nothing. None of the Tanuki back home ever thought about selling stuff here like I got. Oh, you're selling stuff from the den? That's so cool. No, den's full of garbage. All my stock's handmade and primo, I promise. See, everyone knows the key to what Mog's health is their feelings, right? So, I sell things that make both humans and Mog why I like feel like a million yuan. I guarantee you won't find, won't be able to find these things in any regular human shop. Abstract concepts can't be sold. Surely the Tanuki's trying to swindle us. A Tanuki Mogwai can transform the shape of things, right? But nobody's ever thought about transforming the abstract into something tangible. Till now. My transformation powers are some are much stronger than my outset cousins. A den Mogwai such as myself should as much as yourself should know that. Eve, are we really going to trust this Mog? Peddle your pranks elsewhere. You your human should at least get a vote in, right? Er, what was your name again? I'm Eve, and this here's Klein. You don't seem like a bad mog to me. She's from the den, Eve. Who knows if we can trust her? I'll take a kind human's opinion over a surly cat sits any day. <laughs> now then, shopkeep is a long name, huh? Just call me Shep. What? Who mentioned shopkeep? Where did it say shopkeep anywhere? Yeah, yeah, Shep is our th fourth wall breaker in this game, so you'll see that a lot. L let me prove to y'all I'm nice, alrighty? Check my wares. Satisfaction guaranteed? Sure. This was another place where it used to freeze up a lot. So you can do items, please, equipment, special sale, or I'm good. So let's look at the items. So you go into buy, and you got kitten pics. So a photo of some kittens in a basket. So cute. It recovers your beat for 25. So yeah, it gives you your magic back. So pictures of kittens. <laughs> they make your magic stronger. Okay, let me go back. Escape, escape. Come again, okay? Your money's always welcome here, cuz. So yeah, we've met Shep. She's our little shopkeeper that'll pop up now and again. And then there's somebody else up here. Now we can talk to them. But I think it's about time I brought this to a close. I was kind of hoping to get... We should go to Solberg first, actually. We won't stop here. We're gonna go to Solberg. We told Grandpa we were gonna reach Solberg, so we're gonna go to Solberg. So we're going all the way down. The downside is I'm pretty sure it's going to open up something else, but that's okay. Might as well. So here we are in Solberg. It's been so long since I've been here. I miss going out to the beach with Gramps. Now, Eve, we didn't come here to get sand in our paws, did we? We have a job to do. Let's head to the shop and pick up the parcel as soon as we can. Can't we mess around the beach for a few measly minutes? What is with you humans in the sea? I'll never understand that. <laughs> coming through, coming through! I've got photos of cute mom boy to develop! There she is again. She literally just leapt over our heads. Whoa, she jumped that high! She really jumped that high, Klein! Oh, with those skills, perhaps I could train, could, should train her as my conjurer instead. Hey! I'm just teasing. I'd never abandon you, Eve. Let's continue on, shall we? I love Klein. She's just so cute. Okay, so we'll save back here, and that'll be it for now. So I hope you enjoyed. I guarantee you this game just continues to just tickle at your little heart, because it is an adorable game, and I truly do love it. And I'm really looking forward to showing you guys, like, more of it. 
There's so many more characters, so many more, so much more to the story and the lore. Ugh, we are just scratching the surface, you guys. So, hopefully you'll be back in the next episode, and you'll get to see why I'm a little obsessed with this game. Till then, thank you for joining me. Leave a comment letting me know what you think of it so far. Does it seem to tickle your fancy? Are you curious what it is I see in this really basic-seeming game? Well, I would love to know. So, till then, this is Sonic Ranger, signing out. Goodbye!